What is poppin you guys welcome back to my youtube channel. It's your girl melissa and today we have a good old thrift haul I've been doing so much so much thrifting so much thrifting i'm in florida i've been here for the last two-ish months and i have found some incredible things i discovered the bins here which have been insane and i've just obviously been hitting up like every goodwill that i can possibly find you guys know the drill so i decided let's do a good old thrift haul it's been a while i appreciate the fact that you guys have been sending me messages like being like more videos where are you? It's inspiring me and one of my goals for 2024 is to definitely get back into making a lot more fashion thrift content. I got a little bit away with it from it. You know, the wholesale, the the vibes, the business girly part of me was just like I was I've been busy. I've been busy and I was like, "Hey, you know what? 2024 YouTube I'm coming back for you. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, welcome back. I'm Melissa and I have a massive thrift haul for you guys. It's pretty big. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this collective. It's definitely collective. Collective Florida, but fall thrift haul. Let's go. And if you can hear chewing, if you can hear noise, my dogs are just up to no good at all times. So <laughs> that's what they're doing. I don't know if there's gonna be any sort of order. Like I'm just gonna pull whatever's here. We're gonna show and we're gonna just get into it. The first thing is probably something that I typically would not ever show you guys. Something that I actually wrote off so long ago, like the men's t-shirt section. I don't go in it. I literally am kind of over it like i go there into the goodwill the valley village and like i feel like i don't find anything however the bins has like kind of rebirthed that love for me and i found one really really cool graphic that i want to share with you guys it is this john mayer <laughs> bitch what not off to a good start oh my gosh what is on my mind? I did have a couple of drinks a few hours ago at dinner, so maybe that is what's happening. The first thing is this Elton John 19, what are you, 1995 graphic t-shirt. It's so sick. I literally saw this at the bins and you know, the reseller men, the reseller guys, no offense, they're the worst, okay? They're the worst at the bins. I am literally, I have to go into like, male aggressive mode like i go into the most competitive version of myself like basketball mel is back at it like i am literally i'm you're literally fighting for your life in there especially when you see like a graphic t-shirt or anything sports related or any anything like that the men are okay so i, I picked this up i literally just grabbed it like three of the guys like offered me like five bucks 25 bucks for it i was like no nope, bring it home this is a pretty sick find and I had to obviously share it with you guys. On the opposite end of the spectrum, today at the bins, I found this insane Betsy Johnson dress. I actually am obsessed with it. I will say this time and time after again, I do not gravitate toward purple. Like purple is that one color that I put on my body. And I'm like, I don't like this. However, lately I've been finding a lot of purple and I'm like, okay, wait, maybe this is a sign. I did end up finding this really cute, like Tula sequin purple Betsy Johnson dress. We love Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson's just one of those brands that I'm personally kind of collecting this one. However, this will go up on my Depop. Oh, by the way, there is some things going up on my Depop. Some things are coming with me to Europe. I'm literally leaving tomorrow. A lot of things are going up on my Depop, of course, but always, so you can definitely check that out. No pressure to shop at all. You guys just wanna see what I'm picking up recently. You can definitely check out my Depop for all of that. And yeah, so if you see, do you see a piece in here that you like? I'm kind of like a little bit lazy, hesitant-ish with posting on Depop. Just let me know, message me, be like, hey Mel, do you have that? Because like I probably have photographed it and I'm just being lazy and like have not listed it up. Or message me on Instagram, message me on Depop, whatever. If you see anything in my videos ever, just like message me because I'm just a slow burner. Like things sit and I just don't get around to it. As I've been so, you know, doing my wholesale, like wholesale focus lately. Myself, I would do a little thrift haul, a little Depop drop and all that. For you guys so yes no pressure to shop love that you're here supporting this video in general love you guys so so much but yes there will be some stuff going up on my depop including this stunning dress because it is a size two and it was too small for me i did like get it on to try on but like in the try on the like zipper is not done up so but it definitely is one of those dresses that would absolutely snatch you in and i was like this is such a cute like holiday dress but isn't like 
overly festive but it's so cute at the same time and it's betsy johnson like i am a collector of betsy johnson myself so i know that some of you guys are out there One of the other crazy bins finds that i found today yes i literally go every day it is my addiction it is literally like gambling i'm so convinced that it's like my ver my addiction it's my addiction like thrifting was my addiction but the bins is like leveled up my thrift addiction because it's like what am i gonna find like it's it's so it's good because it's like so cheap but at the same time it's like it's bad like i i stay there forever hours on end and i find some good shit okay these tommy Hilfiger boots the one thing about florida is nobody wears boots so i've been finding the most insane boots at the bins because nobody wants them these are in such good condition like they literally have the star they have like it's like they're in such good condition and i was shocked because sometimes like you're at the bins and you're like okay the shoes are like falling apart especially in florida these are in stunning condition. I absolutely love the fit of them. They're gorgeous. I might end up keeping them. They are a nine. I'm an eight. They're a little bit big. Me and my mom were fighting over them. We, it might be, they might be staying in the family. Next up, we have another stunning dress. I do have a lot of like holiday festive wear happening here. I don't know if I was just in the vibe, the Christmas vibe. We put up our treats today. And do you see my little Hello Kitty? She's so cute. Maybe I'm in the vibe. I did a bunch of like holiday looks today, but look how stunning this dress is. It's kind of like that taffeta material. And then there's like this butterfly. Again, it's purple, but I love this. Like, this is so fun. This is so like 90s, like grunge, very like Buffy the Vampire Slayer type of moment. I This is like my style right now. Like I love it. Like anything like this, that's like sheer, but I love the fit of it. It looks so good on. And I just love a little 90s slay. And again, another purple piece. Okay, another freaking insane holiday piece this vintage i don't even know the, the this is the tag in it it's like very vintage of course i love a good vintage piece but look at this full sequin gold dress this is definitely something you would literally see like on selling sunset the like reunion yeah that's literally this is what i would picture one of the girls in okay. and again just like a good like holiday vibe you'll see that much better on the try on we'll stick with the sequins Am I having a sequence moment? Like, what is going on? Look at this stunning purse. What? Yes, this, I've been actually wearing this myself at Wardrobe to dinner today. I don't know if this is gonna go up on Depop or if this is gonna be a good keep because I just love it. It's just like, I like, I actually am starting to really like navy blue. There's a coat that I will show you guys in a second that I'm like obsessed with. Navy blue is kind of having like its moment for me where like navy blue and maroon for the longest time I was like not, not down for it. And lately I'm like, they're kind of making a comeback for me. Okay, let's just show you the shirt that I wore out to dinner too because my whole outfit's here. So I actually found this at the bins too. It's the limited. It's an extra small, but I actually like the fit of it because it's a little bit more baggy. Like, I'm not an extra small at all. Is this crazy fun? Crazy fun. It's not that crazy. It's white. But I love, like, a good layer. I love texture. I love anything that's a little flowy and different. And this definitely gives me, like, early 2000s vibes. Like, my mom definitely wore something like this back in the day. A high neck. I just love it. And I love a low, like, a long shirt. Over the crop top a little bit. Classy. Similar as the shirt that I just showed you. This stunning textured floral white top i don't know if you guys can really see that that texture on that but like i love the shimmer i love the texture whenever i see something like this at the thrift store that's like borderline is that ugly is that grandma is that what is going on adding to cart immediately <laughs> like it's just in my blood did end up finding somebody's full collection of their what do we call these i call these like italian screen printed y2k tops but i found somebody's whole collection of these at the bins this morning and like and they were in a pile together and i was like okay they're all coming home with me i love what was it this one like says chardonnay they are all like quarter length sleeve i love the cropping of them though like they actually fit such a nice like cropped version of the top like it's they're not overly long especially this one i love the venice one i did find two of these actually of the same type so i'm gonna probably keep one which is this coffee one I found two of those and then I did find this one which I actually really love too I just love these prints like I cannot get enough of these prints like such a go-to top like a little lacrosse necklace absolutely the girlies are eating you up lingerie pieces this little Victoria's Secret moment is so baby doll cute love a good pink anything you guys know that about me the next piece look at this little shine shimmer okay obviously i'm into the sequins i don't know what is going on with me right now but everything i'm picking up is sequins
sequins, this like little sequins cropped vest. You can wear it as a top or like you could wear it open too, which I think is so cute. A little bit of a holiday moment. Full 360 for a second. And I want to show you guys this. I, again, as I said, like I kind of swore off the men's t-shirt section. I swore off like the, even the crew neck section in the thrift store. They're overpriced personally. To look through all of them to find like literally nothing. I feel like they're always picked over and people always go into them and blah, blah, blah. But when I go to the bins, it's like whatever's coming to me, like I'm grabbing and it's cute. And like, it's like, I'm not being like picky because I'm like, I get everything, a little bit of everything, which I love. So I did find a couple really good crew necks actually, which is fun. Cause like, honestly, my fault. I don't put a lot of them up on my Depop as much as I used to. Like I used to put a lot of that type of stuff in, onto my Depop. I kind of got away from it a little bit. I got a little bit more girly. Now I feel like I wear everything and anything. Like I have no, I haven't really put myself into a box. Like I will literally wear mom jeans and like a crew neck and like go like a princess diana 90s look and then i'll also go like super early 2000s like i have like gotten away from like putting myself in a box and i will literally wear anything look how sick this is i love the green and i love the yellow together this is so fun so i had to pick this up i actually think i might end up keeping this one because i just love the colorway and i feel like it's just like so fun like i can just picture this with like my new balance sneakers this i found this so fun like a little 90s crew neck obsessed like vintage everything i am just like falling in love with a lot of vintage pieces and then i also found this really cute for what it's called but it's so oh, teddy this little cute teddy it's so darling it's so coquette and i had to also grab this I promised myself i wouldn't like make this obnoxiously long let's go one of my favorite tops okay one of my favorite tops guys the sequence the sequins but i just love a white textured top obviously i've been finding a lot of them this one i love the bell sleeves i love the ruffling mm. and this is so sexy like it's just like you put this on i actually styled it and like with a little white mini skirt all white like i'm like tanned oh yes mama okay, as i was saying about the navy blue i've been loving navy blue so i saw this coat i was kind of like unsure about it when i put this coat on i was like I am literally the coolest Matrix mama in the whole entire world. No, it's not black. It's navy blue. But this like patent leather coat, double breasted, it just looks so good. And you can tie it and cinch it and you just look like a million dollars. I'm actually thinking of bringing this as well to Europe because I'm kind of in the process of like bringing a bunch of coats and I can't really make a decision. Another one of those that I cannot make a decision about. I feel like this might be a newer brand, but I absolutely love the fit of it. I'm kind of loving a crop jacket as much as I just showed you guys that long like trench coat. I do love a crop jacket, I think. Because I'm on the shorter side, like I'm very average height. I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm very average height. One thing that I have realized is I do love a crop jacket on myself. I feel like it elongates myself. I'm not overly tall. I'm not overly short. I'm very much average. I just feel like this kind of like looks good on me and I also might pack this one. I love like all of the buckles on it and it's super fun and like look, all over the arms too. Like this is such a fun coat. This one is definitely one of the coolest shirts. This is a crazy find it has like zippers all down it i actually posted this on tiktok we ended up finding it on google and it's like an 800 dollars shirt it's insane the way it does up at the back it's so freaking cool definitely keeping it in my wardrobe the next piece that i have to share with you guys as you can see i'm just here for anything that's like overtly unique anything like mix matching of prints I'm here for, I feel like I've always been this way. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know. And then I love a paper tag. Like if it's a paper tag, like I want it. Back to my roots, very much so. Pop art girly, very early 2000s. I found, I will never not leave a good early 2000s baby tee or tank top behind. And I love the fit of this. This is not like one of those like, oversized tank tops it's a fitted tank top and i absolutely love the saying i'll admit i'm hot but don't blame me for global warming it's happy bunny i absolutely love it for this coat i couldn't decide to get it i posted on instagram and i was like i don't know i kind of like it though and everybody like hearted it and was like you need to get that like that's so cute it is so fun it literally has a tag on it so i paid stuff at 8.99 i paid 8.99 it's not bad i think it's so fun back home in canada like a coat itself is going to be like 25 dollars at the thrift store so i'm like 8.99 i should just do it it's so fun i love camo i just love camo in general so i was like yes camo mixed with some fur the brand is thrill and i'm like is it cheap thrills like from doll's kill i i don't really know but i just i thought it was so cute i had to pick it up i feel like it's fun i'm probably gonna wear it it's super cute next pair of shoes look how good these are what is going on like these are so fire i paid five 
of these. Look at the sick silhouette of these. Like, I love these like frames going up there. They're a little bit big on me. I haven't decided to sell them. I've had them for like the last, this was something that I found like the first time that I got here and I just can't decide to keep or sell them. Like they're a half size too big, you know, like when I'm walking in them, but they're so, are you kidding me? This is the brand, more sequins. Guys, I have an issue. I found this brand new with Free People shirt for $7.99, which is pretty good. You know that this is probably a hot ticket price when I initially, probably whoever initially bought it, bought it. But isn't this so fun? Again, as I said, I wasn't like that into maroon. Now maroon, navy, blue, I'm kind of here for. I feel like this is such a sexy shirt and I love it. Like, I'm done. I think I might also pack this for my trip to Europe. A lot of this stuff is keeps in this in this haul, to be completely honest. This red bag. I actually have some really good accessories to share with you guys. I found this at a vintage market down here. It's Nine West. I love a red bag right now, which reminds me. Your girl always has more than one of anything. Let's be honest. I also found this patent leather. Leather, it's probably full leather. There's no brand. Oh, it's Frank Franco Sardo. I actually like Franco Sardo. But I found this one too, which I love. I've been using it for a lot of my Depop photos. What do you guys think? Which one should I keep? I think I like this one. It's the Nine West one. But I also love that this is a shoulder bag. Do you see why you need more than one? Like this is proof. This is girl math. This is proof in itself. It's not, it's a red bag, but it's not the same red bag. You need more than one red bag. Guys, I came across this and I screamed. I love, I love OG brands like Juicy. You know the vibe. I saw this and I absolutely lost my mind. I found this at Family Thrift for like 99 cents and I was like, I love a white textured shirt, obviously. I feel like I overdo everything. Like I love a something and I overdo a something. Like what mental illness is that? Because that's what I have. If I see one of something, I need all of something. It's another white textured shirt, but I love like the asymmetrical hem. I love the mesh. I love it and it's a sick brand too. This I actually got from a more, you would have seen it in my last certification. It was like more of a um, consignment store. Bitch, this is your industry, you should know that. The next top I actually had put on up on Depop. It had sold, the girl ended up wanting a refund. Then it was a sign, I needed to keep the shirt. I am absolutely obsessed with this wet seal top. I think it's stunning. It is the perfect crushed velvet fall top. Are you kidding me? Like look at all the texture, look at all of the different moments that's happening in this top. I absolutely love it. So you know what I decided? I decided, you know what, I'm gonna keep it. I told my mom, I was like, you know what, I actually really like this. She's like, just keep it. I'm like, you're right, this is a sign. Okay, let's talk about the black boot phenomenon. I, it's a, it's like the red bag. It's like the red bag. You can never have enough. The worst part is this is not all of them, but these are just the ones that I'm gonna show you. The bins have been blessing me with black boots. So these ones, first of all, these are gorgeous, which somebody had messaged me about these and I need to get back to them because I haven't decided. See, this issue is, is I'm like trying to pack and like I'm trying to pack some outfits and like these are perfect for my boyfriend's games because they're so sexy and I want to look sexy. Like I'm his girlfriend. Like that's my boyfriend, the one that's playing over there. Yes, that is the vibe. So I take my outfits seriously for his game days and I feel like these are like those type of boots and they're nine West. Like they're such good condition. They're so fun. Like I love like the ruching here. I found these brand new at the bins guys, brand new with tag. Harley Davidson riding boots. They're perfect freaking condition. These, how do I not keep these for myself? Like, and then I also found the perfect pair of black cowboy boot which i need it's not a want like it's a need they fit me perfectly they're so good to have down here because they just like look cute like it's warm here so like it's tough to always wear boots as i said like the bins have so many boots and these are just like perfect to go with dresses so i'm gonna keep these and leave them here because they're like an essential for me. next pair of shoes which i'm also keeping <laughs> are these nikes these are nike shocks there's something similar to that, but they're my perfect size and I just absolutely love them. I needed a white pair of running shoes. The silver, like I love silver right now. Like I'm a, I'm a silver girly right now and I just, I was like, I need these. They're a pair of shoes. I actually forgot that I even got these. These Nine Wests, are these not like the cutest little fall little shoe? Imagine like a little pair of ruffled socks. They are an eight and a half. Let's see. Ooh, but they do fit me really. They're so cute. Are you kidding me? I'll show you guys on the try on, but they're literally so darling. I probably don't need these. I might end up putting these up on my Depop, but we'll see. Best find, hands down, the best find, the Poochie bag. If you guys saw my TikTok, 
my Instagram reel. I think I even put it on shorts. I ended up at this vintage market, which was also had like a thrift or shit. Like it wasn't a vintage market. Like as much as it was, it just felt like a big thrift store because everything was so cheap. I'm also in Fort Myers. Like Fort Myers is very like, I feel like it's cheaper, like one of the cheaper places. So I feel like you run into a lot of these like random places. I feel like in the States you just run, run like Canada is so expensive everywhere. In the States, you just like find these little pockets of like little towns to go to and like things are like not as expensive. I found this Emilio Pucci bag for $39. I screamed. I screamed. It's like you obviously, everything there was like five, ten dollars, four dollars, like a thrift store. You obviously knew that this was a designer bag if you're putting it for $40. Like it didn't make sense to me. It's so cool. Like you can see the tag in there. It says like made in Italy, like it's vintage. Like I love you guys so much. I have had so many Instagram DMs offers for this bag. I've had friends ask me to buy this bag for me. I cannot possibly give this up. It is literally the most insanely stunning purse I find everything. Like there's just like something attached, like the attachment to like the way I found this, everything. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sorry to tell you guys, but I'm going to be keeping this for now at least. Moving on, look at this bustier top. The ballet coquette girlies are screaming. They used to put their whole badusi into the making of these like little vintage corsets yesterday. Mm, I love a gray slate moment. And I already know this is gonna look so sexy on all my curves, the stretch is perfect. Obsessed, oh wait, and obviously I have to show the tag. The tag for me lately, ladies and gentlemen, I got away from like brands lately. I'm a brand girl. Not necessarily specific brands, like a sexy tag, it does it for me. Oh, I screamed, I hollered when I found this at the bins. Okay, look at this little Betty boop. Bad girls have all the fun little baby tea. Yes, I'm keeping this because you know, you know, that is my girl. And I have attachments to my finds lately because I like work so hard at the bins for them and I feel like I find things and I'm like, I literally have hooted and hollered for this. Okay, the next piece, look how fun this is. Look how fun this vintage top is. I got this at a little flea market the other day. It was like a little thrifty flea market. The flea markets around here have like a lot of thrift things. You can find a really good deal at these flea markets. And I was obsessed with this. Like it gives me like the vibe is like Western, but also like Slipknot. <laughs> it's the mix. And I love the crop. This, I can do a crop, like a long sleeve crop. Like I'm here for baggy. Then we have an amazing little baby fat shoulder bag. I love a big bag right now. I love a big shoulder bag, especially for daytime. Like I love being able to throw everything and your mom into it. Like I want my camera, I want everything. And I'm so glad that I'm kind of over the mini bag. I'm sorry if you guys still like the mini bag. I still love a luxurious little mini bag though for a night out, but for the daytime, like, I need something like this. Like I am bringing snacks. I'm bringing everything in here and I need this, especially for my job and for what I do. Like I need the bigger, the bigger the bag, the better. Oh my goodness. So I'm sat outside, like I'm doing my try-ons for this haul and I realized I put two pieces in my archive. Like that's where the poochie bag is going. This, These are a couple other pieces going into my archive that I kind of put away in my closet to literally, I needed to share them with you guys though. Look how stunning this vintage New York jersey is this whole haul is just sequins as you can see but i did get this at a consignment store but only for 20 dollars. these are going online for like thousands of dollars it's literally so sick i had to obviously stop what i'm doing do a little you know input here in this video because i could not let you guys go without seeing these stunning pieces and then i also found this gorgeous chain detail top chain it's all chain it's all chain at goodwill i found this for five dollars it was like 5.99 there is also a tag it's made in paris one of the most gorgeous pieces i think it might have been like a performer or something because there is a name on it it says baz bug on it so i feel like it might have been like a performer or something but it is absolutely gorgeous like the whole thing is made out of chains. It is literally stunning. Okay, I could not have done this haul without showing you guys these. These were the reasons why I wanted to do this haul and I completely forgot that they're in my closet. So, without further ado, let's get back to the video. Next up, another little, let's, start, let's do another little bag. On this Dooney and Burke, 
little bag at Goodwill. Look how cute it is. I love the pink and like the croc style. I think it's just like so fabulous and adding it to my little bag collection. Look at this cute little tank top. I found this at the bins. I literally, anytime I see pink at the bins, I'm like, pink lace uh yes i don't even know what it is but i'll check later this is so cute i love the little bows and you guys know i'm a leopard print girl leopard print me leopard print forever one of the coolest skirts down in a long time i love this i think one time like back in the day like a long long time ago in one of my in one of my trips to the thrifts i saw a skirt like this and i was like i hope this never comes back into style me now Stunning bag of all bags. Yes, the poochie is insane, but look at this. Look at this. The texture. This is one of the coolest bags that I have ever found. Like, this is so unique. Like, this is something that you would see, like, off runway designer. Right now, especially, this is the bag. Like, this is what everybody wants. Anything super textured, anything super unique. Like, this is so trendy right now. Absolutely, there's no brand. I'm not even sure if somebody just, like, made this. If they did, I need them to make me a couple other ones because this is literally the coolest thing ever. This is also so cool. A little leopard print moment. It's actually, I don't think it's a swimsuit. Like, I think it's just a bodysuit, but it's a vintage bodysuit. Look how sick this is. It's a little tag. The brand is Solar, but I absolutely love it. I love the low back and I love the little cutouts too. Yes, another thing that I found at the bins is so, so good. Look at this little sweater. Are you kidding me? Another really good sweater. I actually did find this out, this one at Goodwill for sure. But look how sick this is, a little golf moment. This is so Florida vibes. Like if you live in Florida, you're golfing. You're old and you're golfing. I need a moment of silence for this dress. This has gotta be one of the most perfect dresses that I've thrifted. Actually I found at the bins. That I've found at the bins, I, that I've found in general. Look at this gorgeous, it's so good. Like okay, Mel, I get it. Look how freaking stunning. Look at the floral, like the color of it actually looks so good on too. This is the brand here. Oh my God, I literally cannot wait for you guys to see what it looks like on. This is the sickest little jumpsuit ever. I absolutely love it on. I was gonna put it in wholesale and one of my clients was like, you know what, actually I'll pass on that. I'm like, okay, I like put it on. I'm like, wait, this is everything. This is so fun. And of course it's leopard print. You guys know this was actually such a fun find. This G unit, little bandeau top, and it's gold, and like this brings me back. Like we are in the 90s. Some really good little baby tees. We have this one, which is so fun. It just like has a horse and it's front. It says 2006. This is such a sick find. I, along with everybody, has been so into the jersey moment. Of course, we're all in it. I love like a jersey moment with a skirt. I think it's so fun and making it girly, but what about an off the shoulder jersey? just to be girly in itself. I found this stunning little pink moment. This one will, you'll see in my little Goodwill trip in my thriftcation, but I just absolutely love a cutie little pink moment. Dead stock pants. They're actually sold on my Depop, but some girl like put a down payment on them, but they're sold. So I apologize for that, but I still wanted to share them with you. Their Cleveland Street is the brand. They still have the tags on them and look at like the buckling on the side. They're so sick, they're low rise. I would have kept these, but my booty is a little bit too big. They're a size one. I looked a little bit silly in them because my butt was like popping out. These are low rise. I'm absolutely obsessed with these Solomon, 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 like little sneakers. I absolutely love like the buckling here. I actually found a couple pairs of them. I literally am so obsessed, like these ones too. And then I also found these little Tommy Hilfiger little cute kitten heels too they're so freaking cute. how sick this like harley davidson screen printed tank top is i did also find these like super beat up demonias but they're so cool i couldn't leave them behind but i think i might be able to like restore them somehow bring them to like a shoe cobbler or something i didn't even show you guys this little baby tee how cute my pile is literally getting out of control it's a little juicy these little juicy pants are so good too, like little. Definitely bringing these on my trip. I'm literally leaving tomorrow to go to Latvia. I cannot wait to share with you guys all of the content that is gonna happen when I'm there and all the thrifting is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So I cannot wait to bring you guys along that journey with me, but I think I'm gonna call it a done deal right now. I have so many more things, but I literally need to 
not get too carried away because I want to at least have some try on for you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. You know, check out my Instagram, check out my TikTok, and obviously check out my Depop. I love you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Wow.